Hello, YouTubers. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Stanley French Press, okay? It's something my wife picked up for me over the Christmas break. I didn't know she'd ordered it, and I didn't even know they made these. But anyway, she's seen it and got it for me, and it's one of those purchases that I'm really, really glad she made because it's a very multi-purpose item. And it's really meant to be kind of... Uh, one pot cook option kind of thing you can use it for cooking you can use it for making drinks you know you can use it for making medicine and all kinds of things so that's what i really like about it is its versatility now as you can see it has a fill line right there if you fill up to that line that is 32 fluid ounces and it's a french press so it presses coffee and what that means is you take the lid off here it's got a good seal on the lid. This lid does not come off easily, which is awesome when you're pouring it because you don't want to burn yourself or scald yourself. But anyway, pull the press out if I can here very gently because I just finished making this coffee. It was a full rolling boil, so it's very, very hot. And as you can see, the press is kind of hard to remove because there is also a rubber seal at the bottom of this thing right here all right similar to the reusable filters that you can get for drip coffee makers for your house so you don't have to use paper filters and you can see all the way through that sucker well that's how it works you dump your water in here however much you want you throw your coffee grinds in your grounds in whatever you want to call them yeah, as strong as you want to and you throw it on the fire and you get a good boil going and it's a French press which means this presses the grounds the grounds that are in the coffee and forces them down to the bottom because they'll be free floating for a little bit and then they will sink on their own if you just let this set a minute or maybe put a tiny bit of cold water the grounds will settle but a French press allows you to expedite the process and not have to even do either one of those things. So my grounds now are all pressed to the bottom. I gotta be careful touching because it's still warm. Coffee grounds are all pressed to the bottom. So now all I'm gonna get up inside the cylinder here, above the filter, is pure coffee. Just like so. This happens to be Folgers Dark Roast. That's what I drink at home. That's what I drink out here as well. So I have some for the house and I have some for out here because I spend a lot of time out here as well. Oh, makes a damn fine cup of coffee. But as I said, this item is multi-purpose. Now this is 18.8 stainless steel and it is 300 grade, 300 series stainless which is food grade stainless and the very best that you can get with our current technology okay really really good for making coffee but beyond that you can use it to make loose leaf teas and strain all the crap out of your tea if you're a big baby and you don't want tea grounds either um, it's really good for making medicine. I could be dropping herbs and medicinal plants down in here and steeping those to leach medicines and nutrients and things like that out of medicinal plants and pour that off and drink it as a tea. I eat a lot of lamb's quarter here in the summer. Some of you watched the channel before, watched a couple other videos, you might have heard me mention lamb's quarters. Wild spinach, also called goosefoot and sow's ear and a couple other things. But it grows rampant. It grows insanely well here because lamb's quarter likes disturbed soil. And this is a wheat field right out here. And this is a farm. So most of the soil has been disturbed really, really over the time because there at one time there was cattle running here where I garden used to be a, a paddock for cattle so the ground is very very fertile and it's been very very disturbed for decades so lamb's quarter grows like crazy and with the French press out of here I can throw my fresh lamb's quarter leaves in here and fill this thing with water and throw it on the stove and let it cook down 
and basically have exactly what you would have if you were to open a can of canned spinach or any other canned green. I could do the same thing with turnip greens. I could do the same thing with any kind of a wild green or a cultivated green that I wanted to grow. I have the ability to cook them in this. And after the cooking process is complete, I throw in my French press and I press down. I pour off my liquid. And after I'm done, what I've got in the bottom of here is my food. Because now the liquid's off of it, I can dump it right onto a plate, throw a little bit of bacon bits on top of that or something, a little bit of garlic salt, and I can just go to town and eat. So it is very good multi-purpose for that. And it's also meant for you to remove the French press and just use this for cooking soups and stews and anything like that. And it's kind of meant on Stanley's part to be a one tool cook option if you absolutely had to because it's a coffee maker it makes tea it makes medicine it makes all manner of foods you can deep fry in it if you want to you can boil in it you know the list goes on and on and on something i've never tried is i wanted to see if this lid would sit down and it does but it does not fit as tight on here as it does on the french press But yeah, whether I can pour like that or not, I don't know. But if I do, I'm going to get coffee grounds into my cup. But still, it's nice to know that the lid also does. And it's it fits fairly tight. Let's see here. Yeah, not, not real tight, but tight enough it's not going to fall off. That's great. You wouldn't leave it on there to cook with because of the fact that this is plastic, and this seal is rubber. It's very soft, and I'm not sure if it's what it's made out of, if it is silicone and high temp, like heat resistant. If that is the case, I'd have to do a little research, but if that is the case, then you could even boil this with lid on, because silicone is very, very heat resistant. That's why they make, um, for like wall tents and such, the gasket that goes around your stove pipe that insulates the pipe from your tent, those are silicone for that reason because they're very good at negating heat, okay? They do not transfer the heat to your canvas and allow your tent to catch on fire. So I'd have to do some research on this seal, but if that is silicone, then you would be able to use the lid just like this as well. Something else that I was told that I have not yet tried, and it's down in my kit, probably buried somewhere. Uh, it looks small. My Stanley Cook kit. Wondering if this lid fits. It'd be nice if it would, but no, it does not. It drops down in there. I mean, would have been nice if this lid worked on this container. That would have been really, really awesome to have this lid be able to transfer from one to the other. But, you know, it satisfied my curiosity. That wasn't the case. Would have been nice if it was. But, once it's clean, you just store it just like it is. Put your press back in, throw your lid back on, your handles, fold up, just like pretty much anything else Stanley makes. And uh, this doesn't come with any kind of a bag or anything like that, but it'd be real simple, real easy for me to either make one or repurpose something around here. And I could drop it down into a drawstring bag, tight shut, whatever the case may be. I can make one out of canvas or oil cloth or denim from an old pair of blue jeans or camo hunting pants or anything I wanted to I could make a small bag for this and drop it down in there if I wanted to also there's plenty of room left inside here because of the volume that if I'm carrying this container anyway it's best not to carry it empty if it's clean I could pack all kinds of things in here which would leave me at the same weight but more room in my pack because 
I don't have an empty cylinder taking up space that's not also full of something else. Like if I were going to take a lot of small personal items with me, like you know, my grinds and uh, this jar of coffee that I have would drop right down in there. I could drink it directly out of the pot if I wanted to. I could drop extra matches, cigarette lighters, flame extenders, maybe a couple of candles, just pretty much anything I want. I could drop down in here so that since I'm carrying this and it's taking up volume in my pack anyway, I don't have to carry it empty. I'm carrying the same amount of weight, but I have less bulk because this is also a container that can contain smaller items for my pack. Anyway, it's only... It's, I think this thing was $25, 25 or 29 It's not real expensive. And I really like it. it. It was a good purchase. My wife did really, really good when she bought this for me. It was very surprising. It was unexpected. And it's come in handy. It has so much potential for being multi-purpose, guys. It's not even funny. So if you've been looking at one, it's a good piece of kit. I guarantee you... That if you buy this, you're going to get a lot more uses out of it. You're going, to, you're going to think of things that I haven't thought of yet, I'm sure. The more I use this, the more I'm going to see potential in it and think, huh, I bet what I could do with that is this. And the new things are going to come to me over time. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching the video, guys. Don't forget, if you haven't yet and you'd like to, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Reach over there, hit the notification bell, and select all notifications if you want to be notified when I upload videos. Um, whether you like the, or whether you subscribe to the channel or not, if you like the video, please click the like button for me. And questions, comments, drop those down below. I thank you guys very, very much for your views and for supporting me and my channel. And I'll get another video out to you as soon as I can. You guys have a good evening. I'm going to finish my coffee bar before our thunderstorms show up. It's a damn fine cup of coffee. All right, see you on the next one.